who is stepping up the battle against the Ebola virus now that the first U.S. patient has died. The first line of defense, of course, is at the airports. Five international airports will start screening passengers arriving from West Africa by taking their temperatures. Right now, that's not scheduled to happen here at Honolulu International. KITV 4's Brenton Noir is live to explain why. Brenton. Yanji, there's several reasons why. One, because our state has no direct flights from Africa. Two, we get very little visitors from that country. And three, airport officials told us they already have safety protocols in place. The screening process changes Saturday at five airports handling high volumes of international traffic. The enhanced screening will consist of targeted questions, temperature checks, and collection of contact information of travelers from the three affected countries entering the United States. Honolulu International didn't make that list. While the threat of Ebola is concerning, local airport officials say they already have plans in place to keep the public safe. For them, the battle starts in the air. Airport officials tell us that the incoming flights will now radio in if they're carrying a sick passenger. When the plane lands, it'll remain isolated on the tarmac until emergency responders show up. They will um, meet the patient, take a temperature, get a uh, physical examination and a history. And most importantly, they'll get a travel history. Where has that patient been or where has that person been in the last three weeks? If Ebola becomes a suspicion, crews will contact the CDC, who's in charge of making the decision on whether the rest of the airline's passengers need to be quarantined. This protocol has been in place for years, helping fight off SARS, influenza, and H1N1. We've had those incidents not in the recent past but in the remote past and that's why it's great that we have a partnership here at the airport with not only the CDC but the state health department, um, American medical response uh, ambulance um, and uh, of course the airport of officials here. To keep Ebola out the public's asked to help. The next time you're flying and notice someone sick report it to the flight crew and help keep Ebola away from the islands. And if you're planning on flying out of Hawaii to the mainland and are wondering what airports will have those advanced screenings, they're all east of the Mississippi, New York's JFK, Newark, New Jersey, Washington's Dulles, Chicago, and Atlanta will all start on Saturday. Back to you.